More now on the Stephen Lawrence trial. And as we've been hearing, the police officers who dealt with key evidence following the death of the 18-year-old in South East London have been questioned about the forensics. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Guy Smith has been following the case and joins me now from the Old Bailey. So, Guy, first of all, remind us what actually happened today. Well, Victoria, we had a very detailed examination of the evidence and how it's handled back in 1993. The jury here at the Old Bailey were, was shown uh, the blood-stained clothes of Stephen Lawrence, uh, including his jacket, jumper and T-shirt. And we heard about the journey those clothes made uh, from the hospital where they were initially cut off by a nurse uh, from the body of Stephen Lawrence while he was on the operating table. That nurse then bagged uh, those clothes up and then they were rebagged by a police officer before heading to uh, Plumstead Police Station. And then on to Southwark Police Station where the clothes had to be dried because they were soaked in blood. Uh, and then on to Elton Police Station before finally ending up at uh, a laboratory in Lambeth. Five locations within just a week uh, of the murder. And we also heard uh, that none of the officers were absolutely sure whether some of the bags had been sealed or not. And Guy, at the heart of this case is, is new scientific evidence. Um, what are the defence suggesting? Well, firstly, the prosecution case that um, rests on the new scientific evidence uh, of fibres, blood and hair, apparently from Stephen Lawrence, which were allegedly found on the clothing of uh, Gary Dobson and David Norris. They both deny murder. Uh, the defence say that uh, that evidence is uh, con contaminated. Uh, but we also heard from Robert Crane, a detective constable and also the exhibits officer um, at the time. He said that there were no formal procedures to prevent cross-contamination. He had no formal training, although he did have 19 years of experience. Uh, the case continues. Guy, thank you.